hey guys welcome back to another video and if you're new here welcome to my channel in today's video i'm going to be discussing teen jobs this is such a common question that i get especially working at Publix. people are like what age can my teen apply or even like young kids themselves ask me and sometimes you know not everyone gets hired sometimes it does take a little longer and people are like do you have any other suggestions so here i am making a video to address that question and that topic overall and just give you guys a couple of ideas and a couple of pointers for you to consider before applying to certain places so if you want to see this video then go ahead and please keep watching but before we get started if you guys could please like comment and subscribe i would truly appreciate it i'm on a road to 2k so help your girl out because i'm trying to help y'all out now let's go ahead and get started all right so the first thing i would say for y'all to take into consideration before you guys apply somewhere is what is the end goal are you here just to make some quick money and then bang it are you trying to get into a work area in the field of your study like as an example would be if you're trying to be something in the medical field are you trying to get a job you know dealing with medicine so that you already have an in um, are you trying to get a job where you can potentially make a career out of it you know something a little bit more stable what is your goal with the job you're currently getting now this answer you know the way to find the answer to this question is usually for you to reflect on what's going on in your life are you struggling right now where you're just like i need money for something important okay because i know a lot of my teenagers were like oh dang i want these new shoes oh yeah i need money now and it's like that's not really a necessity that's more of a want so it's kind of like balance what's going on in your life right now do you really need money because you have a child because you have bills to pay because you know your grandma needs something something like that um, or is it something more of like, um, I would like money because I want to go buy me the newest mascara or because I want to go, you know, buy me the new shoes, stuff like that. Another thing for you to think of is the second option is kind of like in the career. Um, are you a teenager who's about to graduate high school, about to become an adult, you know, teenager, one of those teenagers? Or are you a teenager who literally just became a teenager, okay? And the difference between that is because usually if you're a little older teen, you kind of already know or have an idea of where you're going in life you probably may have already decided what you want to do with your life you may have said i want to be a doctor and at that point you might be potentially looking to get a job with something that has to do with medicine so you already have an in when you finish studying to become a doctor now versus if you just became a teen or you're like a preteen, 13 14 you might not necessarily know what you want to be yet and also if you do it might be a little harder if you are that young to get um you know inside of a big company or something so serious like in the medical field but it doesn't necessarily mean for you to give up or anything you know so that would for sure be my first tip for you guys is for you to really understand why it is that you're doing this why it is that you're getting a job and what you need that money for make sure you have it planned out I can't emphasize enough if you're a person who's just not organized that's exactly how your results are gonna look if you're a messy person with messy thoughts you're gonna have messy results okay and I mean that in the nicest way as possible you know I love you guys but I I want to it, it prepare you guys and ensure your success in whatever it is that you do so make sure you're organized and keep everything you know down to play you know have everything written down do it in whatever where form you need to in order so that you have an, an idea a game plan on how to move about your life okay so once you figure that out okay so once you figure out whether it's option one and two two and three whatever option it is then you can go ahead and start seeing some options now i would say that yes fast food places teens want to apply there all the time is that ideal no is it better than not working at all yes if that's the only place you can get into a fast food chain then go ahead do i recommend that for everyone no everyone's case scenario is different also so it really depends on like like i said what you're trying to achieve and on your personal situation where do you work best what do you know how to do stuff like that you don't need to have any experience working in order for you to apply for a job people will train you regardless if you have experience working somewhere or not the company you apply at is still going to train you guess why because they want you to work the way they want you to work because you're working for them so you might have experience being a mcdonald's manager but if you go to wendy's even though yes it might be a little similar it's still going to be a little bit different because it's wendy's and wendy's wants you working a different kind of way than mcdonald's is because if not they would be the same food chain you know they're different because 
they run their stuff different and they have different products and they want you to memorize different items in the menu stuff like that so don't be intimidated a lot of people tell me oh i can't apply anywhere because i don't have any experience you don't need experience to work anywhere a lot of times people tell me oh i'm too young no one's gonna hire me there are places that are gonna hire you it's about you being persistent think of it this way big companies want young people why because younger people move faster Customers tend to like younger people better because they feel bad for them. Oh, this kid is struggling in school. He's so cute. Ha ha ha. He's a great cashier. Da, da, da. So you have an advantage if you're young. So don't let that stuff intimidate you. So many people come to me with that same excuse. So my apologies. Um, my camera had actually died. But to continue on, what I was basically saying is honestly, once you decide what you're in it for and what you're trying to get out of it, then comes the easy part, which is truthfully just sending in your application to as many spots that fit you know what you're trying to look for so if you're looking for a big company at this point you're just sending your application to any big company if you're looking for fast food chains because you're just like i'm just in it for you know trying to get a quick job as soon as possible and usually fast food places hire the quickest then you can go ahead and send it to all the fast food places you can also send it you know to the big companies and the fast food places once you acknowledge and decide what you're in it for i feel like the rest is super easy at that point you just kind of like start doing your application and send it into different places now i'm going to go ahead and give you some ideas of some places that you guys can be applying at first of all um if you're 14 you are considered obviously a teenager but i know a lot of places don't hire you at that age Publix is a place that does hire you at that age and i know i do a lot of videos there and i also personally like work there so i'm always probably gonna like vouch for them just because i see the true potential behind the company it's not because they sponsor me or you know promote me or pay me to do these videos that's just this is just genuinely like my truthful thoughts and opinions i feel like if you're 14 the fact that they give you the opportunity and it's genuinely a good company i suggest for everybody to apply there okay now, now it doesn't guarantee that you're going to be hired or anything so i would just say to apply and i mean i do a lot of videos on how to get hired so if you really want to work at Publix, you can follow those tips and you'll most likely you know get hired but if you're just like patricia i don't feel like doing all the extra stuff i just want to send in my application then go ahead and risk it you know send it to Publix because Publix is not a bad company you know um, I think it's a really good place for you to submit your application and if you like I said aren't gonna do the extra things that you need to do in order to get hired then I would just say for you to start sending your application to other places as well now I suggest you know Target Walmart big companies like that because I would just say that if by any chance me who I have like experience in college and stuff and I've seen how a lot of teenagers you know go to college and then they regret their decision and they drop out and stuff I would personally say if you're kind of like iffy on why it is that you're trying to get a job if you're like honestly I'm trying to get a job for all of the reasons because I want to get hired quick because I'm saving for a car because I want quick money if you're just like all over the place I would say I would strongly suggest that you apply at a big company and like i said it doesn't necessarily have to be Publix. i would say walmart target stuff like that because big companies like that if something happens like let's say a, a hurricane a tornado if they need to let go of their employees stuff like that bigger companies it's harder for them to do that because of their reputation because they genuinely have the money to keep you there stuff like that whereas in like a smaller company they might if they have to let you go they will let you go they don't have all the funds or all the managers and stuff to really like protect your position also if you know they close down or something like that because they're a smaller company is not guaranteed that they're gonna stay open because you know smaller companies they don't know the rules stuff like that if it's a business that just opened up and you go work there you know they might not follow all the guidelines that need to be followed in order for them to stay running so if they end up closing down you lose your job as well so I would just strongly suggest a big company another pro of a, a working in a big company is that like I said me being in college and seeing how kids react when they get into college if by any chance you realize that college is not for you or you realize that you don't want to study or or something happens and you physically can't study or you don't have the money to do so or whatever case scenario may be in a big company there is leeway to move up so that doesn't get so you won't always have to stay let's say in the bottom so if you enter a company being a bagger or being a cashier or something and this goes for anywhere not like i said not just public i know i have a lot of videos on that because i think it's such a good company where like everyone should apply but there's other companies as well i would just say that working in a big company makes it easy to move up and potentially make a career a life 
out of that job. So if you become a cashier at Walmart, let's say, there's room for improvement. There's room for you to become a Walmart team leader, a Walmart manager, a Walmart store manager, a Walmart district manager. And now you're not just a cashier who is making $10, $11. You're a manager making you know a six-figure income. So I would say that that is something that a big company is gonna offer you, whereas in a small business, you're not looking at that. If you work for a small business, and by any chance, you know, you end up not doing college or none of that, and you want to kind of like invest your time into someone's business, I wouldn't suggest it being into like your friend's small business or something like that. I would not suggest it being your local small business because there's not gonna be as much room for improvement. There's probably no room for improvement. They probably just need you to be there as the cashier or something, and that is it. They're not gonna probably give you the opportunities to move up as a big company would, not to mention if it is a small business, they kind of like already have their own so they're not just gonna give it to you so I would say if you work into a big company you have guaranteed room for improvement guaranteed spots guaranteed people who can help you so that's just like an advantage I don't recommend like I said that you do a small business now if you want to work for your for a small business and a big company you can do that I've done that all the time you know I will take jobs on the side but I've never let go of the jobs that guarantee me success okay I might take uh, a risk you know and go work for you know some type of office that let's say one of my friends opened up I might work there once a week because I have a very busy schedule but I'm not going to quit Publix or lower my days in something that it's guaranteed money guaranteed hours guaranteed stuff you know so make sure you're smart with it if you do end up working in a smaller business or make sure that you have your plans figured out and that's that's kind of risky even saying that because sometimes people think they have their stuff figured out and then life takes crazy turns and then you realize that it's not what you want so I would say to make sure you really know what you want before you work at someone's small business but not even because sometimes what you think you want isn't necessarily what you end up wanting long term long term or what you necessarily need okay sometimes what we want we want to work with our friends and stuff that's not what we need that's not what's going to give us to pay our bills and stuff that's not what's going to give us the good money or the good reputations or the good stuff so it really just depends but always obviously do what's best for you so i'll mention it again big companies that we're looking at Publix, Walmart, Target, you can even do like a Sedano's, you know, the Hispanic food chain, stuff like that. There's a Publix Sabor. So for, you know, Hispanic people who don't really know a lot of English, you can go apply at the Publix Sabor if you are concerned with your language. You can also do like Whole Foods. Whole Foods starts you off at $15 an hour. So I would strongly suggest Whole Foods as well. I'm not gonna cap, Publix doesn't pay you as much as $15 an hour, but Publix gives you more benefits from what I've heard than Whole Foods. I've never worked at Whole Foods. So you can do Whole Foods, you can do Trader Joe's. Aside from the grocery chain, you can also do big companies within something that doesn't revolve around, let's say, groceries or food. You could do like Dick's Sporting Goods, Home Depot. Home Depot pays you really good. I think Home Depot starts you off at like $13 an hour. So it really just fluctuates. Um, I'm gonna throw this one out just because I'm very shocked at the pay. Chick-fil-A. I think it's great. I'm a loyal customer. I go there all the time. I love the service and everything, but I hear that they do not pay well. So take that into consideration because I think it's a good environment. I, I hear that they do give you good benefits and stuff, but the pay I hear is not all that great, you know, but that, that fluctuates wherever you go. Don't kill the iguana. Don't kill the iguana. Are you guys trying to kill the iguana? If you need money like ASAP or you're trying to get a job as soon as possible, I would honestly, I mean, I'm not encouraging you guys to quit or to not be loyal to certain companies that hire you, but you know, most likely fast food chains are going to hire you right away, maybe like a Wendy's or McDonald's or something like that. But if you do get a call from like a bigger company, then transfer, like move, you know, it's, I know it's not ideal because you don't want to leave anyone hanging. And even though, you know, you guys might not see it like, oh, that person cares or that manager cares still, you know, it kind of looks bad on your reputation like dang you keep switching job to job like you keep not being a loyal employee but if you get a better opportunity you know I would just say to go for that so in the meantime though until you get that opportunity if you don't want to be like dead ass bro if you want to be having a job and you know that I don't know Pollo Tropical is hiring right away you can start working there and then move 
when you get a better opportunity there's nothing wrong with that now if you do end up deciding to do fast food chains i just suggest that you be smart with it obviously you got to look at how much they're going to pay you and the work because mcdonald's is always very very busy but if they're going to pay you the same as if you work let's say at cold stone you're looking at the same thing i mean they're both fast food chains kind of you know they deal with food whatever if cold stone pays you a little bit more or a little bit less but i mean you probably won't do as much as mcdonald's that just depends on you this goes back to the beginning do you rather do a little bit more and get a little bit more or do you rather you know be relaxed at your job and still making you know minimum wage so it really just depends because i would say that either one of those are still like fast food kind of i mean i know cold stone isn't drive through and you know you have to get off and it's more of like an ice cream place and stuff like that and i give that example because one of my brother's friends actually works there and she says it's very chill and stuff like you don't really do anything there's barely people who go and i know it fluctuates depending on your city and stuff like that but you know is that really what you want to be doing do you want to be somewhere where no one sees you no one recognizes you you're not moving up you're not doing anything really with your life so that's the stuff that i'm trying to get you guys to think about you know think about something like that and I know when you're younger, it's harder, but that's why I referred to you guys in as into working into like these big companies, companies where there's room for improvement, retail, stuff like that. Also, a lot of my young teens, um, especially my girls, want to go work in clothing stores because they love fashion and they're like, yeah, I want to go work, you know, in this clothing store, in this clothing store, and like little boutiques and like, that's cute it's cute um i don't recommend it if you want to work in clothing get into a store like victoria's secret something like that something that is known and branded and everything i know there's like little stores that open every so often in the mall and if you work at that store when that store closes down you're not gonna have a job so this is such a big one this goes back to small businesses and stuff like that if someone just opened a store and they're looking for employees and you go work there i mean yes that's good that's kind of like a temporary job but i don't know how much of a future you're gonna have there because a lot of times they close down so if you do want to work with clothing try to go for like a bigger clothing store and like i said though if you need to work in that small clothing store until you get a better opportunity okay but a lot of times people settle so that's one thing don't get comfortable don't get into your comfort zone don't settle make sure you know that you're there for a temporary amount of time and don't give up trying to get a job into like a bigger retail company so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and drop a list down below of places that you guys can apply at um places that accept teenagers and stuff and other than that that completes today's video thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye